the sketch bend tool is a great tool to add bends as well as add angled bends to different faces on your sheet metal parts. One thing a lot of users don't know is that you can create a sketched bend with multiple lines in it. So you can create multiple bends at the same time. So if I created a sketch bend on this base flange, I can draw in a line either straight or at an angle. And then I can use a linear sketch pattern to draw in multiple instances. And then once I select a fixed face, I can choose some sort of angle. And it's going to bend each one of those lines to that same setting. And if I want, I'm going to remove several of these out. And I could also make a few angled bends if I want. And it looks like that angle was a little too high on the bends. If I bring those in, that should complete this feature. So you can see you can have a composite of straight as well as angled bends using multiple sketch bends. Now I'll take a look at several examples. This is a spiral created using the sketch bend tool. And I'll go ahead and edit the sketch. And you can see that this is set to a quarter of an inch apart and a quarter of an inch from the edge, the 45 degree angle, and a linear pattern to continue on the sketch. Then from there, all you have to figure out is the angle you want for the bends. In this case, 45 wouldn't work. I could make this helix a little less tight by reducing the angle as well. And you'll also notice that that radius is set to the same as that offset so that it creates a relatively smooth helix. In this sketch bend ring example, I have two sketch bends working in opposite directions. And I use an unfold feature to allow me to add both sketch bends. So you can see the result of the first. I have once again a sketch with those angled lines. And then I've chosen an angle of 42.5 degrees in this case, just based on guess and check. And then I use an unfold feature and choose out the fixed face as well as collecting the bends and unfold all the bends so that the next feature can be sketched and created over it. And you can see that this runs in the opposite direction. So I can have the bends run counterclockwise instead of clockwise. And this allows this to come back into a ring once I fold it back up. And those values, if you're trying to create this sort of geometry, are something you have to play around with in order to get this to work. And if I hit flatten, you 
can see those bend lines in opposite directions. Lastly, I created this using straight sketched bends. So this starts off with a linear pattern of straight lines. with a given spacing and then the other lines are going to go right in between to bend in the opposite direction. So in this case this requires a little bit more tweaking. You have to be able to select the fixed face for the unfold feature and that requires a slight modification of reducing the number of degrees so that you can come in and select out this face in the unfold feature. Then I went ahead and went back in the sketch bend, made this 45 degrees, created that second feature. and then unfolded it. And once again for the unfold you'll probably have to reduce the angle of the sketch bend so you can select the fixed face and then you can change that angle back once you're finished. And once again we have our flat pattern. As you can see with the sketch pen tool, you have quite a few options of how you can create geometry. And you can create quite a few different shapes if you experiment a little bit with this tool.